Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. It's me, Kiafa. Welcome back to my tribe. What's going on, everybody? All right, so y'all tired as a dog. So, anyways, I just got out of shop. I'm going to bed after I make this video, honey. So, I just want to talk to y'all real quick because I was watching YouTube and I see. First of all, let me just say this. I totally agree with DDG and DoDash. And I know if y'all don't know who DoDash is, she is an upcoming YouTuber. Well, she just basically, she not even upcoming no more. She um, just basically went viral on YouTube over the last couple of months. She got a whole bunch of subscribers and it's extremely motivational. I'm not gonna even lie, just watching her be herself and just tell her story. And I've been watching her and like the her progression over the last couple of weeks, maybe a month at best, because everybody just talking about it and it's just everywhere. But then recently I see DDG. Now if y'all don't know who DDG is, DDG is Holly Bailey's baby daddy is boyfriend, whatever. He, they was in a relationship for the last couple of years together. And y'all know who Holly Bailey is? That's the Little Mermaid, the Black Little Mermaid, the Black Mermaid, the Black Little Mermaid that um so so anyways to make a long story short ddg posted something a couple of days ago about he, he did an interview from what i can see um and he basically was just like the only reason people should have a nine to five is to pay for their um their business like to fund their business and y'all i totally agree with that but he got so much backlash and i was like what and so i'm tripping off of people giving him backlash but at the same time i'm watching doDash excuse me y'all and doDash is blowing up and doDash basically like i'm finna quit doing doordash because her name is a play on doordash she's a door she's a doordash delivery driver and she was her part of her story is she been delivering grocery or uh, food to people for about 18 hours a day every day just to be able to afford her apartment and her you know car and stuff and so she was just saying you know how hard it is being on her and how pretty much she just tired she just don't get no break because she always had to go to work and i guess she didn't and she didn't want to go back to school she went through a divorce and everything and so go watch her channel it's do dash like d-o-u-g-h dash d-a-s-h but I'm watching her and I'm watching or I'm watching the backlash that DDG get and I'm thinking like why is they mad at him for being honest like it's no real reason unless you really wanted to be a doctor when you grew up or whatever all this stuff like okay yeah if you're gonna do a job then do the job and just that's what it is but realistically, me being a 41 year old, I'm a 41 year old woman, y'all. It's no, if somebody would have gave me this opportunity that we have now when I was younger, I would have took it too. And for and DoorDash is like 41 or 42 as well. And this lady, I'm telling you, y'all, as soon as she got her check, she said, I quit. I quit. I quit my job. Her, her job now, her income source is youtube which we both know all of us know youtube is a business it's not like how other social media sites are where it's so youtube is a search engine so if you understand how search engines work you know people go to look up stuff versus going on social media to be entertained so her job now is to give value on that platform so she quit her job and she started her business and while she was using her, while she was doing her DoorDash, she started working on her business, y'all. This is something like I don't know what people I don't know why people was giving DDG so much backlash. Because it's really I guess maybe because we older. He's not older. He's in his 20s. So he really is ahead of his time as far as the thinking process go. Because from what I heard, I, I don't know his whole background. But I do remember watching him with his little nephew and his brother. I just thought that was so cute that the whole family was a part of it. And then when he had, when he got in a relationship with Holly, had Holly Bailey, I just thought that was just, I just love it. I just love it. I'm so disappointed that they're not together. Maybe they'll get back together. I'm not invested in their relationship, but just, they just seem like regular people, both of them, 
Kylie and DDG seem like they just regular people from regular families and they just you know blew up and they became celebrities through different avenues he is a streamer she is a singer songwriter actor actress but they just seem regular and so when I when I was watching him talk about the his just comment was very simple like nobody should have a job for the rest of their life just to have a job for the rest of their life I completely agree with that I completely agree with that if you're gonna have a job you need to have a goal in mind and let that job help you get to that goal it's nothing more freeing than being able to do whatever you want to whenever you want to y'all I done had a taste of that life before that's why I'm so adamant about having my own business and starting businesses and you know taking control of my own income and I share that with you guys because when you have I have not even come close to the amount of money that neither one of them um DDG well I done made how much uh, Dodash has made from a job before it. So she was saying recently how she never made over six thousand dollars a month at a job. I'd have made well over six thousand dollars at a month at a job. And this is what I'm gonna tell you: it don't matter how much money you make at a job, if you cannot do the things that you enjoy doing when you enjoy doing them, then it's still not gonna be fulfilling to you. To me, it wasn't. I ain't gonna speak on y'all, but to me. Yes, I was making thousands. I done made over I done made about fifteen thousand dollars in a month before from a job. And yes, that was good money, but y'all not only did I have to work long hours for that job, like physically taxing on my body, I was away from my family. And yeah, it was good money, but it didn't give me that fulfillment that I was looking for. And I remember going home and being having a lot of money sitting in the bank and being able to just sit home and hang out with my son and hang out with my family and do the things that I want to do without having to worry about I got to go to work the next day or how I'm going to pay this or the lights going to get cut off or they going to come repair my car. I had so much freedom, time freedom, that y'all, I was like, this is the life. I got to come up with a way to be able to live this lifestyle where I could just be in my garden all day if I want to, where I could just go to um, breakfast or go to a wine tasting event or go on a cruise or go anywhere and just do whatever I want to do, just whatever I want to do. If I want to walk around the city, I can do that and not have to worry. All I think DDG was saying was to do exactly what DoorDash did. She used her DoorDashing job even though it's, she's the independent contractor, it don't matter because even though she's an independent contractor, she was working 18 hours a day, y'all, to get like two, three hundred dollars. 18 hours a day? Oh my God. And I know I done did deliveries before and I am not above. I haven't done DoorDash, so to speak, but I've done Instacart before and I'm not above it now. But I know how a much of a hustle it is when you waiting on orders they playing with you because they giving you these low bar orders but you got bills to pay or you got something to do and you need the money and you need it now because they pay you daily pretty much and so watching DoDash and then watching people really give DDG all this backlash I'm thinking like so everybody might not want to be a, an uh, entrepreneur, but this is what I'm going to tell you. When you sitting around here and you at that job and you in your 50s or you coming up on your 50s and your feet hurt and your back hurting and everything hurting, you got high blood pressure and all this stuff going on and you still at that job and they, they decide that they going to they gonna let you go because they can hire a younger person for less money or... You do everything that you're supposed to do, and they, you know, the business close or move or whatever. Because I was watching this one lady, her job moved like two hours away, and she was driving to this job. And I'm just like, it's no way I'm going to be in my 50s and 60s, y'all, going to nobody's job, tell, having them tell me nothing about nothing. My day is my day. Like, I'm doing everything in my power to make sure I can do the things that I want not only that, like, I know the people was giving DDG backlash, like, everybody not a business owner, everybody don't need to be an entrepreneur. The truth is, it's going to be some people in the world that's not going to be entrepreneurs, and that's okay. But it's not because everybody is not built for entrepreneurship. It's because it's easy to go to work. It's easy. 
when you think about a business y'all i done been in business before and this is how i can tell you because i go i i have my job and my job has is a high enough paying skill job where i can use my job to support my lifestyle or support my expenses so the to support my expenses and to support my uh business endeavor it's not to where i can just go blow a whole bunch of like a thousand dollars but um business but what i can do is say okay this is how much money i have what business can i start with this type of income digital businesses is easy i'm not gonna go tell you to go do that and i'm just saying it might not be as easy as you think when you get older to just get up and go to work it might not be that easy Lord forbid one of your family members get sick or something and then you need time off. Y'all, i never forget my baby was sick when he was little. And them people was writing me up. I was calling in. I can't come. And I wasn't even, I wasn't even full time. I was PRN at some of these places and they would write me up because I would be on the schedule and can't come. I would have to take call and can't take, and can't come in because the baby got pink eye and you can't take him to daycare for 24 hours and he had asthma real bad so he'll be vomiting you know it just was a mess it was a mess and i was praying to god to show me a way out of that show me a way for i could just be home with my baby just show me a way show me y'all and i'm telling you it took i ended up kind of finding a way and as he got older he grew out of it but at the beginning y'all like i wish i would have had an opportunity to just be his mama to just be there like being a business owner don't mean you have to have a fortune 500 company being a business owner mean you could have a little crochet gig on the side that's yours that you might crochet a blanket or a baby caps or whatever here and there and you sell them on ebay or you sell them on amazon or you have your own website or you have a youtube channel showing people how to crochet and you could sell an ebook on how to crochet or you could sell a class on your your crocheting technique being a, having a business is just not it, it's a it's a wide range of how you could do it and because how things are now you don't need a whole team of people you literally can just have a youtube channel you literally like doordash she literally just she quit her she quit her job and began her 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 business and her um you on her youtube channel but the thing was she didn't just stop her job and start doing youtube she was still doing youtube she was doing youtube while she was doing her job and her job and, her, and youtube basically was like okay we gonna support you and that girl you think you know what she said as soon as that check hit i quit I ain't going back i'm not delivering not now never not now unless i got to not now another bag of mcdonald's fries not none of that and she was putting all this wearing tear on her car so i'm just saying i agree with both of them if i'm doordash i'm quitting my job and just like ddg i still feel like he is accurate he is right it's no what i mean what you need a job for the rest of your life for to get social security quit playing with me right now this can't be the conversation we having. And they taxing you on Social Security. I didn't even think I knew that they was taxing people on Social Security until the election, this election stuff coming up. And now I'm looking at what the candidates are offering. And so I'm just like, first of all, why is they taxing people over 62 years old, 65 years old that done worked their whole life to get this little bit of money and they on a fixed income? <sighs> make that make sense. So here's the thing. You keep working your job until you're 65 years old and see what happens. You're going to be right here trying to get them little $2,000 that they're going to be giving you for Social Security. And you're going to be asking somebody a job. And then the thing is, you ain't going to be able to work all them hours because you're on a fixed income. And if you work too many hours, then your income get messed up or something like that. Y'all, maybe everybody don't need a job. I mean, maybe everybody don't need a business. But I wonder what your 60-something-year-old per like your 60-something-year-old you going to say. I know what my 60-something-year-old, because I feel what my 41-year-old son said. My 40-year-old, like, girl, we is hurting over here. We need to go to the gym. We need time for the gym. We need time to relax in the morning and walk our dogs or chill with our dogs. We need time to take our kids to school. We need time to make breakfast. I want some coffee. I want to do all the things that I want to do. 
maybe I want to see one of my homegirls for lunch. Let's go eat lunch, boo. That's what I want to do. I want to, and then my homegirl, she ain't got a baby. Don't even worry about it. I got you. Let's go. Where we going? Hibachi. Where we going? Sushi. That's that's the life. The more money you make, the more people you can help, the more you can do. You can't do nothing at these jobs like that. You can't. You In your mind, you think you is doing something, but you're not really doing a whole lot. And I say that because I'm not taking away from jobs. I'm not saying to quit your job. I'm saying you need a business. You need a business. And I totally agree with DoorDash for quitting DoorDashing after she been doing it for three years or however long she said. I think she said she been doing it full time for three years because the only way for her to make enough money to support herself was to either do that or to go back to school. And she didn't have the money or to, to go back to school. So what you do, you ain't got no money to go to school to get this degree. So so you want to go to, you want to get a job. But really, depending on what kind of job, if you don't have no degree, you ain't making no money. Like in real life, if you ain't got a certain degree, well, it depends. You can go be a plumber, which still requires certification, HVAC. They still require a trade. So yes, you can go get a trade. And I'm going to tell you to go get a trade. I'm going to tell you to go get a trade where you can stay up under. Sorry, y'all. Somebody was calling. I'm going to tell you to go get a trade where you can actually stay um, up under a year and be getting, get a certificate and go do what you need to do for a, a couple, four or five years, however long you need to do it. And while you doing whatever it is, while you working and getting your experience with whoever you working for, you need to be trying to figure out how to take that skill and go work for yourself. That's the play. Y'all, y'all want to be 50-something years old having somebody tell you what to do? Oh, you can't go to the bathroom right now because we ain't got nobody. I'm just thinking about, like, how my job is. So, if I'm in a hospital, I be in my 50-something 50 50 years old, got to pee because, you know, your blood are going to shit. So, I got to pee, but I got to wait for somebody to come give me a break. No, ma'am, it won't be me. I'm going to do whatever if I got to guard my way out. Baby, we gardening. I'm trying to tell you. It's not it's not even an option. Like I can't even see I can't see how people can't see it's not an option. Like how you can't see it's it's not you can sell stuff on eBay. You can do so many things, y'all. Like but people want it easy. People want to just go to work and get a check and complain about they ain't getting enough money. They need to get over they need to get more money. They need to do overtime. They need another job. And I, I don't know, do you get two, three jobs? Like, I wouldn't have two jobs. I would just start a business. I would go do like what DoorDash do, DoorDash do. If she can get out there and work 18 hours delivering groceries, delivering uh, food to people, then go do something that you got a little more control over. So the thing is, too, when you're doing your own business, you getting tax write-offs that's going to offset your, your W-2 income. So when you sit around here talking about, oh, I need more money, you need a business so you can write off something so your taxes can be offset. You just got taxed out, out the butthole on your on your W-2 job, but you don't want no business that's going to put that money that they just took from you back. Like, what is we talking about right now, y'all? Is this a real conversation? Like... And people really got mad at this young man for really telling y'all, like, go get you a bitch. No reason for you to be working until you, at this point, it's no reason. People my age and older, we didn't have this opportunity. This opportunity is new to us. We got to wrap our mind around it because we didn't grow up with this type of technology. Like, y'all, we, I grew up with Encyclopedia Britannica. What are you saying? A computer in the house? Yes, they was out. That wasn't a normal thing. It was no, but I think I remember my cousin um, getting a computer when I was maybe in middle school or high school, but that was for adults. And then we got one. I couldn't get on it because it was my stepdad's, and he didn't want me, or, or I guess I couldn't. I don't know. I couldn't get on the computer. I didn't really learn about computers. I knew about because we had them in some of the classes we was in, but the know about the internet, the way that the internet is set up, and it's been like this for a couple of years. It's just now it's more people getting online but it's been a way for you to make money on the internet for years i remember listening to billy carson and i'm gonna wrap this up and he was talking about how he had a website years ago and and it's been around we just didn't have the regular people just didn't have access 
So now it's a it's a generation of kids that's gonna come up, and this is all y'all know. This is all they know, and it's like, oh, I don't want to do that. It's too hard. What's hard? What's hard? You know, it's real hard. What's real, real hard? And I'm gonna go. Is when you when you wake up and you 50 some years old, and you that miss all your kids' recitals, you that miss all these birthdays. You you can't go to your mama wedding, your your grandma funeral, your auntie recital. You can't do nothing because some people got you in a chokehold at your job. They got you right here like this. I bet you won't breathe. Can you breathe? I remember when I couldn't breathe. And then we said, like, hey, you want to get two or three jobs and you don't want to take the time to figure out how to start a business, something easy, write a book, write a book. <laughs> speak a book ask chat gpt what you should be writing a book about and post it on amazon for free what did you say quit playing with me stop it i can't take it because what we in the time of technology y'all i'm not perfect but i ain't scared i ain't scared and i ain't finna sit here and tell you to quit your job because that's not what this conversation is about this ain't oh I need to quit my job to start a business. No, this is you need to start a business while you at your job because your job gonna fund it. You you straight you because the thing is you quit your job and then you can't think right because you sitting over here for one. The process of running a business is a process, and when you running your own, you got to figure out your process. So that's a learning curve within itself. So if you quit your job and you hungry, guess what you gonna end up doing? Going back to work, losing your car, getting evicted kids looking at you like what's the play mama so don't quit your job but make a plan to get up out of there and to start make a plan to, to start your business so your business can replace your income and you can use your business to create multiple streams of income your job don't cap it's a cap there it's a stop it's a you're not going to make more than this amount of money we're not going to give you this. I don't care how many PhDs, MBAs, CNAs, LPNs, RNs, CSTs. I don't care what your job title is. There is a cap. It's people I know with PhDs and master's degrees and they ain't getting money like that. Make That makes sense. What you mean you don't went to school for all this amount of time and you ain't making no money? What's the point? just to learn a particular topic okay well if you want to go study go study i'll get me a book and i'll read it at the house and i'll let you know what i learned in the meantime i keep my money in my pocket if you ain't have to pay for school okay this ain't for you but if you had to pay for school you know when you got all this student loan debt oh you got a phd but you broke congratulations on actually accomplishing that that's a that's actually a really good accomplishment but the thing is the money not tied to the to the initials there's no guaranteed money and then lord forbid you become a doctor a surgeon i work with them they stuck if man not all of them because they making so much money that they can actually invest in other things but y'all heard of this thing called lifestyle creep where you start buying stuff because you're making more money so sometimes these these high paying people that we think are like living the best life, they just struggling too. They struggling too. So all I'm saying is y'all, I agree with DDG. I agree with DoDash. I would quit my door dashing gig too if I started making six, seven thousand dollars a month on YouTube. I like DDG. DDG said he was working at I think he said TJ Maxx. And Kroger, that young man realized that this ain't it. I gotta wait two weeks. I gotta wait two weeks for two hundred dollars. That's okay when we in high school. That is not okay for adults. I gotta wait two hundred two weeks to get five hundred dollars when I could go out here and buy some shit and sell it and make that. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm talking to y'all. I was talking to myself because really, I'm talking to the pre, to, to the past me. Because really, at this point, it was never a thought in my mind that I couldn't be a business owner or that I want that wouldn't. That's not true. So that part ain't for me. But just being comfortable with having a high earning job and how dangerous that is, and what and how much vulnerability that that leaves you, that leaves you vulnerable. 
Yeah, you vulnerable. That I done got yeah, I'd have been working my butt off for somebody and thinking I'm doing everything I needed to be doing only to just be blackball. I done I done I mean it's just I'm not gonna project my my frustrations with how the work field is, the workforce can be. All I'm saying is it's up to you. You gotta take ownership. You got you gotta take ownership for your exact situation. You you struggling, you sad, you depressed, you sad and depressed and unhappy because you don't want to be in the life that you in, but you're not making the moves that you need to make to get out the situation. You just come, I'm just gonna get up and go to work and complain about it at work, or I'm complaining about it and tell my to my coworkers, and my coworkers gonna go back and tell my boss anyway because that's what they do. Especially if you got a chatty boss. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just talking. Anyways, y'all, that's all I got to say in this video. I I applaud DBG and I am inspired and motivated by DoDash. I'd quit my job too and be a full time business owner if I'm making seven, eight, nine plus thousand dollars on the internet and all I gotta do is make videos. And I'm not making it, but I'm telling you, let me let me let me get a hint. Baby, I'm just saying, ain't no work. The work, the, I'm, my work gonna be my me living, me living. I, I almost feel like that's more of a spiritual, like how to say it. I think it's it's more spiritual almost to be your own boss anyway. It's more aligned with how God and how the universe have us here anyway. If 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 I'm here as a as a reflection or not a reflection if i'm here as a representation of the the creator source i am of god that means i'm a creator so i need to be creating right not just having babies like we out here thinking that oh you gotta live live and multiply um that mean have a whole bunch of babies that don't necessarily mean that could be multiplying your money it could be multiplying a whole lot of things you can get out here and get your money and, and and help somebody. You can't do, uh, what is it, philanthropy because you can't help yourself. When you see a homeless man, you think, I can't get him no money because I only got $10 for myself. I only got $10 for myself. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm out. Bye.